today's special holiday edition video, we're going to check out the top 10 mods suggested by you in the comments. Welcome back to another Mod Spotlight video. I'm TVF Gaming. This is a super simple intro today. I just want to say from my family to yours, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Let's get into today's Spotlight video. Today, we check out the top 10 mods recommended by you over the last few weeks. I went through all the comments, came up with nine amazing mods that you guys have suggested, and then the 10th one I threw in is this Christmas one right here. If you have any mod that you want me to check out in the future, put that in the comments down below. I do write down every single suggestion. I go check out the mod, and I try to add it to my long list of mods. There are a lot of mods out there, so it might take me a while to get some to some of you guys' amazing suggestions, but I am working on it. I promise we're going to do our best to get to it, and these modders are doing great things. Keep in mind that these mods are early in development or works in progress. The modding community is working their absolute tails off to make sure that these mods are working and that you guys get to enjoy them either on PC or on crossplay. Seven of the ten mods that we're going to show today are crossplay, the first seven of them, and then the, the last three are not crossplay. So stick around and see which ones are which. Uh, we, we'll have timestamps down below as well as links to each one of the mods if you guys want to see spawn codes and stuff. Go to their Curse Forge page, go to their Discord. Okay, long intro, man. Let's get into it. All right, quite a few people asked in the comments if there's any good shop mods out there. There's a couple of them that we found, but this is the one I wanted to spotlight today. Kavan's Spa Shop and Missions. We actually use Kavan 87's Spyglass, but he's got a really good shop and mission mod that actually has some already built-in missions, a little bit of money and stuff that you can buy and sell. Very cool mod, very easy to use. This mod is crossplay. Combine also has a couple other mods out there that we've used in the past, like the Solo Dino Farm and some other ones like that. Just a really good modder. He's doing great things over there. But this one, Kavan Shop and Music, you can see over on the left side, that pops up as soon as you load in. If you have this mod loaded, craft a stone pick, a hatchet, and then reward is a better quality stone pick, hatchet, and 250 coins. So I think we're in GCM, so I, I think that I can just go ahead and do it this way. Let's see if we can. Like so. Oh, am I not in? Oh, wait, we got to get GCM going. There you go. Okay, so if we go stone... And we do a stone pick and a stone hatchet. That should give us that quest, maybe. Let's go missions. There you go. Mission complete. Collect rewards. So there you go. Next one is Tame a Dodo. Reward. Bow, narcotics, trank arrows, and 350 gold coins. So you can go knock out a Dodo, and then you're going to get actual narcotic and a bow and all that kind of stuff. How cool is that? Very, very cool. But it's got a lot of stuff built into it. We're going to just quickly check it out. I'm not going to go super, super in-depth into it, just to kind of check it out a little bit. Over here on the left side of the menu, you've got a few things. You've got the open missions menu, which opens up the menu that you're on currently. Go ahead and close that for now. Next one is the open kill missions. This one has a bunch of kill missions in here. Very, very cool. And then we've got the, what is this one? The tame missions, which is what we have right now. Uh, oh, no, this is, oh, this is different. Is it? Hold on. That actually looked a little bit different. I didn't look at this one earlier. Let's see. We're not 100% sure on that one. I'll have to check that one out later. But like I said, we just checked it out today. Over here, you can look at your actual gold coins. You can do trading on the server. If you got server peeps over here, you can actually do trades. And then last but not least, we have well, actually two more things. We've got the shop menu where you can actually buy things. So we've got that little bit of money that we got. And we could go through here and we could buy specific things. Oh, wow. There you go. There's a ton of stuff. Uh, so you can buy all the Apex drops, which is just really cool. It just adds some cool stuff to a server. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and close that out. And then the last one over here is the open exchange shop. Oh, and that's the exchange shop right there. So there you go. But yeah, lots of cool stuff in here, man. It's just very cool. We have 250 coins, so it's not like I can buy a lot early on, but you can at least get, you know, in a, in a server where you're trying to get a little bit of crystal and you just can't find any, you can get that 10 crystal. Go over here. We're going to select one. We're going to pay 70 coins for 10 crystal. Boom. And then now in our menu or in our inventory, we have that 10 crystal, and it took some of those coins away. It also always displays how many coins you have down here. So just really cool. I think there's some other stuff over here. I don't know if that's part. No, that's uh, part of the gambling. That's part of the world buffs. That's That might be other mods over there. we got so many mods loaded right now. Uh, player list for admin. No, I think this is part of the same thing. So you can actually do some admin stuff in here. Oh, wow, you can actually give coins and stuff in here. Like I said, a lot of times we're kind of learning these as I'm jumping into it. Added 100 gold coins for the player. So there you go. Now he has a, a whole bunch more coins. Wow, that's actually really cool. So we go like that, give someone a little bit of bonus coin, and boom, we got 1,200 just like that. Awesome. Uh, let's see. What, what else do we have? Also, F1 looks like our trading panel for the admin panel. And then is there anything else down here? Yeah, the admin menu. Edit shop. Edit exchange shop. Edit loot boxes. Edit dino spawner. Edit baby egg spawner. 
make kill missions, make tame missions. So you can actually go in here and make, wow, that's so cool. Put a dino blueprint here, put the commands for rewards after mission complete. That's very cool. I will definitely do a guide video on this in the future. I got to try it out myself and kind of get used to it a little bit. But this is an absolutely incredible mod. Good job, Command87, on this mod. We'll check it out a little bit more in the future. And like I said, I will do a guide on this in the future if you guys want to see it. If you have suggestions on it, let me know because this mod is pretty sweet. I don't do a lot of shops on my servers, but this this might be added soon. This is really cool. All right, next mod we're going to check out is one that was suggested by you guys quite a few times. I assume because it was in the wildcard mod spotlight video. And it's just a really good mod from Ark Survival Evolved. Human NPCs by Zone Killers. Zone Killer, this is a, a really cool mod. I want to check this one out a little bit. We're not going to go super in-depth into it. I just kind of want to get a quick look at it. We have a little bit of NPC tribe right over here, right across from us. This is perfect. Uh, are you guys already aggressive? Thankfully, I'm in admin, but <laughs> we got female sentry. We got hacker. We've got, what is this? Brawler. Wow, they're everywhere. Okay. And then over here, we can actually knock these guys out. So I'll make some tranks here in a second. We'll knock these guys out. Look at that. <laughs> They're coming from everywhere. But they actually build up. They actually have stuff that you can loot. You can come in here and raid their buildings. All kinds of cool stuff, man. I've, I've always really enjoyed this mod. Adds some life onto your server or on your single player if you're playing by yourself. So it's always been just a really fun mod to come check out. Look how many of them there are. Wow. It's actually impressive. I'm excited to see what all they do in ASA. And then usually there's like benches or storages we can steal from, but maybe not. Uh, they're definitely having a little bit of overgrowth problems. So I don't know if Arc Survival Ascended. <laughs> it looks like it doesn't respect their foundations and stuff when they put foundations down. But all right, let's let's go ahead and try to tame a couple. I understand that they have a few different functions with them. From what I understand, they are knockout tames. So let's just do a quick. I think I have like some really good something on here. Let's see, dart. Um, usually I do. Maybe I don't now. There you go. Shop. So I can tranquilizer, rifle. Let me knock these guys out real quick, and we'll feed them a little bit of food. Okay, so they don't have a lot of health. I don't know if we're gonna accidentally kill them, but we can definitely get them knocked out. Go like that. We'll just knock out a bunch of them real quick. Hopefully we don't kill them off. Uh, we got a lot of arrows and darts in us. They definitely would have wrecked us if I'm not in admin right now. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Uh, oh, it's a shiny one. Look at that. A female Sherwood hacker. So that's a shiny. That's affected by shiny dinos. So it looks like shiny dinos can actually affect these guys too. How cool is that, man? Absolutely awesome. All right. We got a couple more and then we'll get these guys finished knocked out. And then I'll probably just tame a couple of them. Through the admin commands, we'll tame a couple. But I want to knock a couple out to make sure. From what I understand from watching another video by Juan Hayda, she actually showed that they are knockout. And then a whole bunch of food and a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Look at their torpor. We can also steal their clothes. Oh, yeah. Give me your armor. Thank you. And then there's already meat on there. Are you going to tame with your own meat? I don't know. I uh, probably need prime meat. Looks like prime meat. But I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go do tame. And boom, we have a sentry. Let's see how she does against these people. Probably not well. Oh, she did not last long at all. <laughs> okay. Let me finish knocking out these last couple. Oh, that's a, that's a big dude right there. 1.5 Torpor. Okay, let's tame that guy. There you go. Tame that guy real quick. He should be able to wreck some peeps, right? He's going to do better than the other ones did? I don't know. <laughs> that's awesome. How are you doing? Doing okay. And then I assume they can, like, level up and stuff like that to where it should be a lot stronger over time. But once we get this last one taken care of, we'll check it out. But like I said, this is usually just really informal. We jump in and we kind of learn this as we go. So this is not like a, a mod guide or anything, but we want to at least jump in. Oh, my God, there's so many arrows in us. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are we almost done? I think there was a couple more that were over here. Are they still alive? If they are, we'll wake them up real quick. Okay, so there's our three friends that we tamed up real quick. We've got a chopper, a brawler, and a hacker. Let's go ahead and get rid of that right there. So if we go check this out, I want to see if I can put armor. Yeah, we can put armor and stuff on these guys. That's awesome. Get them all suited up. Oh, awesome. There you go. Now he's all suited up. So now these guys should have a couple options on them. When you look at their radio wheel, what do we have here? We've got behavior. Oh, wow, tons of stuff. Copy, enable, just a bunch of stuff. Ally looking. So like your typical dino stuff. Targeting, stance. Okay, let's go back to the next one. Ordering groups, harvest settings. Copy, disable, disable harvesting. Okay, options. All right, change name, unclaim, export. It's typical. And then you're harvesting. Okay, so if I do this, harvest distance far, harvest distance close. Let's go harvest distance far. Now what? Okay. And then do I just, do I put them on? Oh, no, he, he's gone. Okay, he's going to go do his thing. All right, cool. 
So you can actually have these guys work for you. They're supposed to either gather or do other things like that. So there you go. You go go do your thing too, buddy. You don't get cool armor though. And then our last little friend over here will armor you up real quick. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> and then with you, we go like so. We go like that. And just do harvest distance that. There you go. Go do your thing too. So lots of other stuff with this. I'm sure I'm leaving out a lot of stuff. I just wanted to come check it out because it's such a cool mod. Human NPCs. There you go. We got little friends walking around our thing. How cool is that? Oh, I didn't find this earlier. Hopefully I can include it with the NPC portion. But yeah, this one does actually have stuff that you can search. They got actually quite a bit in here that you can take from them. So very cool. There is a reason to come in here and try to steal all their stuff. Very nice. All right, this next mod is Additional Munitions by Snap-In. This is a really cool mod. This adds a bunch of weapons and a bunch of ammo into the game. We've got a primitive automatic shotgun, a automatic submachine gun, a forged submachine gun, a primitive light machine gun, and a grenade launcher. Awesome. But check this one out now. There you go. Reload. See how that reload and animation looks? There you go. Awesome. We could definitely go try it out on some things, but there you go. That's the auto shotgun. Next one up is the fabricated submachine gun. Let him reload that bad boy. Awesome. We should probably at least check the damage on it. Let me at least go look at something that we can shoot up real quick so I can see the damage. Okay, that's pretty good. It does pretty decent damage. Let's see. Check out that guy. Awesome. Make sure I don't get hit real quick. And then we need to do... Let's go back to that shotgun real quick. Oh, man, this is awesome. Look how auto it is. That's awesome. Next one up is the Primitive Forge submachine gun armor piercing. Oh, that's sweet looking. Well done. And then we have the Primitive Light Machine Gun. Oh, this is like the saw. This is like the 249. Look at this thing. Absolutely awesome. Let's definitely take these guys out. <laughs> awesome. Not super OP either, so it's actually kind of in line with the weapons here in Ark, and these are all like just primitive basic ones. And then last but not least, the Grenade Launcher. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. Is this a one shot or is this several shot? I'm not really sure. Oh. Okay. Oh, is it a smoke grenade? Hold on. Did I not read what kind it is? Grenade launcher round. Grenade launcher buckshot round. Grenade launcher smoke round. Oh, my bad. I didn't realize that we had different types here. Go ahead and go find that trike real quick. Oh, here we go. Even better. We got some, some villagers up here to contend with. All right, like so. There you go. Not super OP or anything like that. Let's see all these guys coming at us. Here's another village type over here, too. This is good looking. They build up pretty quick. These guys have a nice little thing going here. Can I access it? No. Oh, there is tons of them. Man, the NPCs are out of control, man. There's so many of them. Oh, did I break their house or did they break it? I don't even know. <laughs> All right, very cool. There, yeah, there you go. There's another look at the NPC mod. Oh, no, we do a lot of damage to their structures. Okay. Okay, so we can take out their structures pretty quickly. But there you go. Oh, there's, they're building up more over here. Yeah, they're everywhere. Wow. Okay, very cool. Okay, this is the last one we didn't show off. This is the little grenade that comes with it. It is the grenade caltrops. So it drops these little spiky things everywhere. Makes it see we're going slow across them. Stepping on all that sharp stuff. It looks really cool when it fires. You can see these things kind of launch everywhere. Look at that. That's awesome. Awesome. So I assume this like slows down the dinos that are near it. The next mod that we're going to check out is by Hex and Lord. You guys know we featured Hex and Lord a lot on the channel. The creator of Arc Omega and a ton of mods for ASA. The amount of mods is absolutely insane. Almost all of them are cross-platform. This mod is cross-platform. And this one is called Omega Teleporters. I really enjoyed this one. We're using it on one of our servers right now. Basically, if you right-click, it's going to bring up a little bit of menu. View all teleporters. The only one that I have right now is the TP1 public. And then, boom, you can see we teleported right there. So just a re really clean, really simple mod. You can also go to the obelisk. So if we go like this. We can look at the teleporter map. We can see if there's any other teleporters on the map. If you had other created player-created teleporters, we could have them all over the place. So let's go ahead and close that. And then you can also go to the obelisk, the green, red, or blue obelisk. And then you can also teleport specific dinos. So teleport dinos to your location. Click on whatever dino it is you're wanting to bring to you. And boom. 
There you go. There's our thylacolio with us. How cool is that? So just really, really simple. And you don't have to put dino trackers on it. So for people like me that lose dinos a lot, <laughs> this is a mod that is absolutely incredible. I need to get on the other server and go see if I have some other ones just waiting out in the wild for me to be rescued. Now, basically, it's only two pieces with this. You have the Omega handheld device, which is the Omega teleporter remote. And then you have the Omega teleporter base. And that's the one you can put down. Oh, hold on. You can't do anything if you have this, the actual thing in your hand. So make sure you put that away. Hold on. Put that down. There you go. Okay. Now, if we go like that, like that, when you place it down, you go to the radial menu on it, and you can do open teleporter menu, which brings you that menu here, or you can do this and go make public. Also, if you can convert it to an admin teleporter, which has some other functions to it, and then you can rename it here. That way you can find it on the map a little bit easier. And then that way when you go like this, go here, open teleporter menu, view all Omega teleporters, and you can see we got this other one over here, ASDF, boom, and now we've teleported over there. So super simple mod, it's really well done, it's nice and clean, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. So huge shout out to Hex and Lord for making this another amazing mod, as if there aren't enough crazy ones out there. There are a few INI settings, I don't think there's any in-game settings just yet, but for the INI settings, there you can change whether or not there's public teleporters, teleport cooldown, the maximum teleporters, and the grab death items, uh, which actually I didn't realize you can actually do grab death items on here uh if i don't see it let's see pick up it might be something that we have to have either we have to have already died or maybe i have to change it in the i and i but that that allows you to use this as a death recovery item as well but there you go hex and lord omega teleporters all right stop me if you heard this one before the next mod we're going to check out is by gaia danny we've done a bunch of mods from gaia danny there's so many good ones out there. This is another one of them. This is the Gaia Glider. I'm always a big fan of the gliders. Just makes it easier to travel around the map a little bit. And this one is absolutely excellent. Craftable glider suit at level 2. It has zero durability. You just equip it to your chest piece. Super, super simple. Now, one thing I've noticed on the servers is when you make it, people don't know what happens to it. So you craft it. It's not going to go into your inventory. It's going to go to your cosmetic slot. So you can see I've already made a couple of them. Then you just drag that over to your chest piece. And then, boom, we've got wings. So there you go. All right. And then it's super simple, just like any other glider, but this one works a lot better. You can actually zoom around with this one. You don't have to worry about falling down all the time like we do with the vanilla glider. So super simple. But this is from Gaia Dandy, the one that's brought us a whole lot of other mods that we've checked out here on the channel. Definitely doing good things with these mods. This is cross-platform, so you guys can try it out on both, but it's just a really good mod. I love using this and a parachute and a crossbow. The grapple, those three things together, you can travel around the map on foot a lot and not have to worry as much about flying around on those slow flyers. You could probably fly a little bit faster with this one. So very cool mod. Definitely go check it out. That is Gaia Glider by Gaia Danny. All right, this next mod, we've had quite a few questions on. That's for gotchas. This is a really good gotcha mod. Better gotcha by Jaffa2872. It's a very, very simple mod. Basically, this gotcha works better than the normal one. You don't have to worry about them, them being in breeding pairs and being X amount of foundations apart. They should be able to do their thing just like this. They have their normal uh, menus over here for production. We've got flint. We've got green gem, sand, silk, crystal, metal. And I didn't actually check to see if they're each different. Let's go check this guy out. Uh, let's see. We've got wood. Oh, yeah, they are. They're, they're different like we wanted. Okay, cool. Silk, obsidian, any. Very cool. So these guys will produce crystals for you. Obviously, throw stone on their inventory just like the other guys. They do have a saddle that comes with them as well. So just a really cool, simple mod. You guys asked about better gotchas, and this is definitely one that fits that. So a little bit better gotcha mods, you know, especially because, man, they were so, so hard to mess with when they had to be X amount of foundations apart. This is a way better, way better option. There's another one out there called craftable op gotchas that one's also really cool go check that one out but this one's by jaffa 2872 super simple mod didn't have to do too much with this one uh it's just gotchas man but better this next mod is clinger's additional rustic buildings by clinger martins this is an incredible mod we've already checked out one mod in the past by clinger which was a raft mod that we still have out over there this has been our entire mod spotlight area since we've started out so we've got a lot of the mod stuff just all scattered around here this is clinger's additional rustic building this is actually really cool there's so many things in here I tried to spawn in everything because there's so many different pieces. I'm not going to go through exactly everything here, but I kind of wanted you to see exactly what it looks like. It looks incredible. These are all the different wall variations across here. You've got doors. You've got windows. I threw a couple different random doors on there so you can kind of see what those ones look like. But this is kind of like a Builder's Paradise mod. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Big fan of the looks on these ones. There's also a couple different beds. You've got the big bed, the small bed, and the wall bed. How cool is that one? That's my favorite of those ones. Lots of different roof pieces. I think there's 18 total roof pieces, and it works just like the vanilla arc where you select what it is you want to do. So if you go to the roof pieces, where are we at here, or a ceiling piece, if we go to that one, you can see that there are four different kinds here. So we have that one, that one, that one, and that one. Same thing if we go to roof, there's like 18 different pieces. So if we go to this one here, 
you can cycle through. There's 18 different total pieces here, and you can kind of get a look at them over here, see what they look like. They look absolutely awesome. Just tons of variations. Try to attach them all up here so you can just see all the different variations of them. They look really good. Little rooftop pieces, the little cap pieces, little mini piece like that there. You can make like a really cool wall on the outside. Those are some greenhouse pieces that we've spawned in on that side. Different versions of the stairs to include these little half stairs, which I really like. These ones look really good. So awesome there. Little half stair things there for the corner pieces. And then there's the actual Clinger Forge as well. So super quick into that mod. What I thought about building something, but I'm not much of a builder, so I wanted to more just show off the actual pieces real quick. It doesn't take a lot of time to do that. So I can just spawn it in, show you guys what it looks like. I think this is an incredible building mod. This will be on future servers. We're going to have to do like a building competition with something like this because I think there's a lot of variety you can do with this one. But 13 different wall variants, 18 roof variants. Uh, it's got beds, cabinets, tables, chairs, lighting, decoration items. So there's lots of other stuff that I didn't even spawn in yet. Definitely worth checking out. Klinger Additional Rustic Buildings. Klinger is a, cra a crazy good modder. So it's awesome to see another great mod from Klinger in here. We're going to have to go check out his other ones too. But there you go, man. Let's move on to the next mod. But yeah, Klinger, man, you're doing good things. This is Christmas Ascended by Uranus. This is a really cool mod. It's got a lot of Santa stuff in it. Unfortunately, not crossplay at this moment, but gives you a little bit of Santa cheer. It's actually got quite a few things in it. I did not spawn everything in because there are a lot of things. Also, kind of a cool bug. Uh, if you hold out this candy cane, we have a club with a candy cane skin on it and try to go forward. It makes you walk backwards. Not sure what's going on with that, but it is a thing. There's also a snowboard that we made that you can actually ride around. If we can get to it, there you go. You can actually ride around on the snowboard. <laughs> Super awesome. Can you jump? You can jump too. So awesome. Just little little stuff like that. There's also a snow owl you can make. So you can actually have a snow owl from this mod. You got the big old snow globe over here that you can turn on. It's got a little bit of lights and stuff in there. Same with Santa. If you turn him on, he actually does... A little bit of singing and a little bit of ho, 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 that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, I don't want to get copyright, so we're going to shut that music off for now. Otherwise, I would love to have some Christmas music in the background here. But for right now, we'll go ahead and keep the music to a minimum. There's also the snowblower over here. If you turn that on, blows on a little bit of snow in the area. So you can see there's a little bit of snow coming down right here. Super awesome. Lots of little presents. There's a bench that you can do all the crafting on. little Christmas chair. Can we sit in it? Sit in the Christmas chair. Oh, we're sitting kind of funny. Oh, are we sitting on Santa's lap? Maybe. <laughs> Super awesome. And then let's start that back up. Little fireplace. The wall behind it is from that Clingers mod that we showed off earlier. Lots of little presents. These are actually uh, gifts that you can open. And then they're supposed to give you certain skins and stuff like that. Inside of the bench. Oh, turn that back on. Inside of the bench, there's tons of stuff in here. We, we kind of looked through all of it. I didn't want to take all the time to craft all of it. If you guys want to check it out, definitely go check out the mod. Tons of different. You got Rockwell sweater. Oh, no, no, no. Santa, no. No, 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 no. Off. No, Santa. <laughs> I can't edit you out, man. All right, uh, yeah, but just lots of cool things in here. Like I said, I didn't want to do every single one, but I did do a few of them. We did, like, the Santa statue. There's also uh, Santa Claus girl skins. We've got a whole bunch of different things like the Rudolph spawner. So you can get, actually, a, a Rudolph, Raptor Claw spawner, Yeti spawner, Snow Owl, Jumper, Golem. So there's dinos in this mod, which I thought was really cool. And then you've got a few of the skins over here to include, like, a sniper skin. You got the snowballs. We do have a little primitive snowball gun that we got. And we got, you make little snowballs for it, and you can shoot snowballs at things. So kind of cool. There you go. A little bit of snowball action. Very, very cool. So that's pretty sweet. I think that's the main stuff. I just want to make sure we showed off all of that. Here's the snow owl spawner. Construct that, and the owl pops out right there. There you go. Oh, looking kind of epic, honestly. Let's go ahead and put you away. And then we have, I think that's the main stuff. There's a couple other ones here. We got another cosmetics. Here we go. We got other skins in here that we could check out too. So remove skin, put on the old skin. There's the older one. Go ahead and remove skin, put on that one. There you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. We're in our Christmas skivvies. And then we have, I think that's the main ones. Let's go ahead and remove one last time. I think that's all the ones that I spawned in, but there you go. Lots and lots of cool stuff. There you go, what do we got there? Uh, nothing, because we're still in the girl outfit. My bad. <laughs> Hold on. Let me make sure we fi fix that, because that would be good for the video. There you go. Oh, here's the... Oh, there's the big one. The big, big Santa suit. Awesome. Anyways, very cool mod by Uranus. I'll make sure that's linked down below. Definitely go check it out. Unfortunately, not crossplay, but just a really cool mod. A little bit of Christmas season action. Absolutely love it. You can change... You can definitely go build this in the winter biome. Would make a lot more sense for the video. I should have done that, but I just wanted to get it out for a spotlight video. All right, let's close it out. All right, this next mod we're going to check out, not currently crossplay, but hopefully they are going to do that in the future. Once they add more Pokemon, they stated that they're going to try to get it over to 
actual crossplay. But for right now, just on PC. But this is called Pokemon World by Lapis. Went and checked out their Discord. Couldn't find any spawn codes currently. So these are just the ones that I went around and found in the wild. So these are the ones that we found. Uh, we've got the little Charmander, Charmeleon, and uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't actually know their names. Oshawott. I'm not super familiar with Pokemon, but my son wanted to see a Pokemon once. This was actually suggested by him, and I saw it once or twice in the comments as well, so it actually worked out perfect. Uh, but yeah, man, Pokemon World, kind of cool ones in it. Uh, th these little guys, I'm not real sure what they're, what they do, other than they just look cool. But man, the models on them are really good looking. They absolutely look awesome. And then the big guy, these guys are very, very cool. We can actually move around on this guy. And then, I don't know, does he fly? Oh, he does. He actually does fly. So, really, really cool. Or at least float. And I think he's got a couple of attacks. Left click. Right click. Oh, dang. C button. Oh, wow. X button. Control. Nope. That C button's awesome, though. Okay. Very cool. So, that this guy is called Zekron or something like that. Let me see. Zekrom. Okay. Like I said, don't, don't don't hate me in the comments. I don't know a lot about Pokemon in general, but really cool mod. Pokemon World by Lapis. Very cool, man. All right, the last mod that we're going to check out today, this one is also currently not crossplay, but it's a really good mod. I hope that they go crossplay in the future. It's still fairly new. It's only got about 20,000 downloads, but this is by Delilah Eve. It's called Dino Depot. This is as close as I have found to the dino storage option that we had in Ark Survival Evolved for ASA. There's a lot of good dino storage options out there. You've got the Omega Dino Storage, you've got the uh, Pelori's, I, I don't remember the name exactly, a bunch of the different Cryo Mods, some really good ones out there. This is the first one that I found that's like a little bit of everything. This actually has the passive generation that we missed from the Dino Storage, as well as kind of a little bit more traditional Soul Ball, so just a little bit different from the previous one. So I've got these guys over here that we can throw inside of here. This comes with a few main pieces inside of here. This is the actual terminal, so we've got Depot Terminal. Inside of here, you can make the terminal, you can make... A stack of dino balls, a singular dino ball, and the dino digitizer. So we're going to grab these. So if we use one of these, we can walk up to things and pick them up. Boom. Just like so. What's good about these is then when we throw it out. So we throw it back out. Oh, did I not throw it out? Hold on. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, I thought I threw it out. When you throw it out, you don't actually lose the soul ball, which is nice. So in some of the other mods, you actually lose the soul ball, which I thought was weird. But yeah, you pick that guy up. Also, it looks like I can just throw it to pick it up. Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's, it's much more like an old Pokeball, so very, very cool. And then you have the other one, which is the digitizer, kind of the same thing. We can go like that, boom, and we can pick it up just like that. It's pretty smooth, pretty seamless. Then you can go ahead and put these dino soul balls in here. The dino soul ball does show you a little bit of everything about the dino, the health, stamina, food, oxygen, all those kind of things. So we can put these guys inside of here. And then if you access the radio wheel, there's options on here like disable auto capture, tog toggle auto capture range, toggle tribute inventory, disable passive production right now. We have it on edit passive production. So if we go like this, you can see silica pearls, acatina paste, organic polymer, whatever it is, you can enable or disable it there. Save and close. And then we have, I think that's the main step. I want to make sure prevent wireless crafting. I think that is every, that's another, another thing going there. There you go. Toggle auto capture. But there you go. So now over time, these guys will produce Akatina paste for me. There you go. We put the game into fast forward just so you could see that Akatina paste. So now it's going to passively produce that after so while. I've got the game in like super fast forward mode right now. You can kind of see <laughs> everything's a little bit crazy. But yeah, this is as close as I found to the old Dino Storage mod. I just wanted to check it out really quick at the end of the video here. Like I said, this is as close to the old Dino Storage as we have found so far. It's got a dynamic display so you can see everything about your guy. That way it's just a little bit easier than having them inside of a, a cloud storage option there's item transfer capability you can pick up from platform saddles there's a dino digitizer to pick them up quickly the dino terminal where you can actually do the insulation newborn auto capture so this does capture newborns so if you have dinos breeding in the area as long as you have soul balls on there i sorry i keep calling them soul balls i'm sorry don't know dino balls on there we're so programmed with the old mod uh, and then dino passive generation so just a lot of good stuff a really good ui and it works as a storage terminal so very very cool uh, yeah, man, I just think it's really well done. Uh, you can also do kill all, turn off. There's lots of cool things in here. There you go, man. Dino Depot. Uh-oh. Oh, man, so that was a lot. That was 10 mods suggested by you guys. Well, 9 mods suggested by you guys, plus 1 suggested by me. 
which is the Christmas one. But I hope you guys enjoyed that mod list. Another top 10 video out of the way. We're going to do a lot of these over the next coming year, and I'm going to start separating them out into individual mod videos for each one of those mods. And I will try to add just a little bit more guide-related stuff in here. But keep in mind, these are not guides. These are just spotlights because I love what the modders are doing. They're taking a game I love and making it even better. So that's awesome. I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Hopefully, all these mods come to crossplay. The first seven of these today were crossplay. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Merry Christmas, as we said before. I hope you guys have a great day. Huge shout out to the patrons to make this channel possible. Huge shout out to you for checking this video. I've made it to the end of the video. You're my MVP, and I appreciate you. I will see you in the next one.